Dr. Preeti, Reader, Department of Periodontics. Today's topic is about instrument and instrumentation. Moving on to the contents, we are going to talk about interaction, classification of periodontal instruments, parts of periodontal instruments, material use, periodontal probes, explorers, scalers, curettes, universal curettes, gracie curettes, area specific curettes, extended shank curettes, curvettes, periodontal files, O scalers, chisel scalers, periodontal endoscope, yak powder polishing, dental tapes, rubber cups, sonic and ultrasonic instruments, surgical instruments, periosteal elevators, surgical blades, surgical chisel, surgical files, tissue forceps, hemostat, scissor and needle holder. Classification of periodontal instruments. The periodontal probes used to measure, locate and mark the pocket as well as determine their course on the individual tooth surface. Explorers are used to locate the calculus deposits and caries. Scaling and root planning and curator instruments used to remove the biofilm and calcify deposits from the crown and the root surface of the teeth, removal of altered symptom from something there well root surface and debridement of soft tissue lining of the pocket. Scaling and root planning and curator instruments in that scalings are the sickle cell scalers are the heavy instrument used to remove the supragingival calculus. Curates are the fine instrument used to remove the something there was scaling, root planing and removal of soft tissue lining of the pocket. Whole chisel and file scalers are used to remove tenacious subgenital calculus and altered symptom. Ultrasonic and sonic instruments are used for scaling and cleansing tooth surface and curating the soft tissue wall of periodontal pocket. Periodontal endoscopes are used to visualize deeply into the subgenital pocket and furcations allowing the detection of deposits. Cleaning and polishing instruments such as rubber cups, brushes and dental tapes are used to clean and polish the tooth surface. Based on its design, it is classified into two types, single-ended type 1 working end, double-ended may have pad or complementary working end ends. Classification of periodontal instruments. Periodontal instruments are broadly classified as diagnostic instruments, mouth mirror, probe, explorers, therapeutic instruments, scalers, files and curates. Periodontal instruments are classified according to their purpose they serve are as follows. Periodontal probes used to locate, measure and mark the pockets. Explorer used to locate the calculus deposits and caries. Scaling and root planning and curative instruments, they are used to remove the plug and calcified deposits from the crown and the root of the tooth, remove altered symptom from subgenital root surface and debridement from the soft tissue lining of the pocket. Sickle cell scalers are a heavy instrument that is used to remove supragingival calculus. Curates are a fine instrument that is used for the subgenital scaling and root planing and removal of the soft tissue lining of the pocket. As with the instruments, they all have three distinct sections. Handle, shank, working head, blade. Parts of instrument. Rigid thick shank. A thick shank is stronger and able to withstand pressure without flexing when applied during instrumentation. Strong ones are needed for removal of calculus deposits. Lead, rigid, more flexible shank. A thin shank provides more tactile sensitivity and for removal of fine deposits of calculus and root debridement. Here is a picture showing a mouth mirror. The mirror surface which is plain may produce double image, concave surface for magnifying, front surface, the reflecting surface is on the front of the lens. Specific functions of the mouth mirror which include indirect vision, indirect illumination, trans illumination, retraction. The non-specific uses of mouth mirror are the hand can be used to check the mobility and percussion of the teeth. Moving on to the periodontal probe, the periodontal probe is used to measure, locate and mark the pocket as well as determine the course on the individual tooth surface. It is usually thin and blunt at the end. The markings are inscribed on the head of the instrument for the accuracy and readability. Probe is classified as first generation, second generation and third generation probe. In first generation probe, we have Williams Periodontal Probe, UNC 15 Probe, University of Michigan O Probe, Marcus Calcoded Probe and Neighbors Probe. The second generation probes are pressure sensitive probes. It is being shown that probe tip up to 30 grams, the probe tip remains within the junctional epithelium. When it is forced up to 50 grams, they are necessary to diagnose the osseous defects. The probe did not solve many problems as the conventional probe and lack tactile sensitivity. The third generation probe are computerized probe. Gibbons et al. designed Florida probes, uh, Foster Miller probes, Tornado automated probe, which detect the cemento enamel junction. The four generation probes are three dimensional probes in which sequential probing positions are measured. The fifth generation probes are ultrasonic probes which provide a painless probing to the patient. Moving on to the explorers. Explorers are the assessment instrument with flexible wiring like working end. 
The function of the explorers are used to locate the subjective deposits and caves areas and to check the smoothness of the root surface after root planing. Here is a picture showing a dental explorer. Sickle cell scalers have a flat surface with two cutting edges that converge in a sharply pointed tip. The functions of the sickle cell scalers are used to remove the supradental calculus. Due to its design of the instrument, it is difficult to insert the instrument inside the gingiva without damaging the gingival tissue. So, small curved sickle blades such as 204 SD can be inserted on the gingiva under the ledges of the calculus several millimeters below the gingiva. The common stroke used is a pull stroke. Here is a picture showing U15 scalar and U30 scalar. The other type of scalars are curved 204 posterior scalar, jackwood scalar and U15 by 30 scalar. The QN is an instrument of choice for removing deep subgingival calculus, root planing altered cementum and removing the soft tissue lining of the peridotal pocket. Each working hand has a cutting edge on both sides of the blade and a rounded toe. The QN is finer than a sickle scalar. It does not have a soft point or corner other than the cutting edge of the blade. Here is a design of the Gracie Carvet. The blade is 70 degree angulation from the lower shank. This angulation allows the blade to be inserted in the precise position provided parallel low shank with the long axis of the tooth surface being scaled. The classified Gracie curates are Gracie 1, 2, 3, 4 for the anterior teeth, Gracie 5 and 6 for anterior teeth and premolar, Gracie 7, 8, 9, 10 for the posterior teeth, facial and the lingual aspect, Gracie 11, 12 posterior teeth for the mesial aspect, Gracial 30, 14 posterior teeth for the distal aspect. Single headed Gracial curates with a set of 14 instruments, they are used in specific areas. Here is a picture showing 1, 2 curate for the anterior teeth, 3, 4 for the anterior teeth, Gracie 5, 6 curate for the anterior and the premolar, Gracie 7, 8 curate for the and Gracie 9, 10 curate for the posterior teeth, facial and the lingual side, Gracie 11, 12 and 13, 14 for the posterior teeth, mesial side and the distal side. The other modified versions of the curates are extended shank curates that is after 5 curates, mini bladed curates, modified after 5 curates, lander and mini lander curates. The difference between the Gracie and the universal curate are the Gracie curate as for the area of usage they use for the specific surfaces, universal curates for all areas and surfaces. The use of cutting edges it has only one cutting edge, in universal curates they have two cutting edge. In Gracie curates the cutting edge curvature is curved at two planes, in universal curates it is curved at one plane. The blade angle for the Gracie curates is offset blade is 70 degrees and in universal curates it is 90 degrees. Next moving on to the files. Files have a series of blades on the base. The main function of the file is to fracture or crush the large deposits of tenacious calculus or burnished sheet of calculus. Files can easily gorge and roughen the root surface when used improperly. Therefore, they are not suitable for scaling and root planing. Files are used to remove the overhanging margin of dental restoration. Here is a picture showing a dental file. Core scalers are used for scaling of ledge or ring of calculus. The blade is bent at 19 degree angle. The cutting edge is formed at the junction of the flattened terminal surface with the inner aspect of the blade. The cutting edge is beveled at 45 degree angle. The blade is slightly bowed so that it can maintain the contact at two points on the convex surface. This has stabilized the instrument to prevent the nicking of the root surface. The back of the blade is rounded. The stroke commonly used are the firm pull stroke. Types of hose scalers are Mecca's 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. They are the 6 hose scalers designed to provide access to all tooth surface. Moving on to the chisel scaler. The chisel scaler is designed for the proximal surface of the teeth, space to permit the use of other scaler. They are mainly used in the anterior part of the mouth. It is a double-ended instrument with a curved shank at one end and a straight shank at the other end. The blades are slightly curved and the blade makes the instrument stabilized in the proximal surface of the teeth. Cutting edge engage the calculus without nicking of the tooth. The stroke used is a push stroke. Here is a picture showing the chisel scaler, Orban's file scaler. Moving on to the dental endoscope. The dental endoscope provides a magnified view up to 48 times of the subgingival area and the root. A tiny camera is mounted on the probe-like instrument that is inserted into the gingival sulcus. It is aided by an intense fibro optic lighting and continuous flushing of the pocket with water. The dental endoscope displays a magnified image of the root surface on a video screen. Detailed image of crown margin, subgingival decay, furcation and embedded calculus with the adjacent inflamed tissue are visible. The dental endoscope reveals a significant calculus that remains on the root after the closed debridement that is not detectable with an explorer. The calculus contain lacunae that harbor the organism including bacteria and initiate the periodontal infection. Removal of the bacteria laden calculus is conducive to heal and should remain primary goal of the periodontal instrumentation. Here is the air powder polishing. 
And here are the pictures showing air powder polishing dental system. It's a Calitron Profiget device, a precise air powder water mixture that removes the strain and polish uh, enamel with no contact, tooth contact. The 360 degree one tap tap on technology and wireless foot pedal allows for the more position and reduce the leg strain during the procedure. The air powder polishing dental system requires a sharp nozzle that can propel the water and compressed air and powder particles at a high pressure to, towards the stain. Due to high pressure, all the stains and foot debris leave the teeth and the teeth becomes cleaner. It is much more effective than the other teeth polishing techniques. It is more recommended dental polishing technique for sensitive and weakened teeth because no hard rubbing is involved, only a pressurized air flow does the job. Moving on to the dental tape. Dental tape with a polishing paste is used for polishing proximal surfaces that are inaccessible to other polishing instruments. The tape is passed intraproximally while kept in the right angle to the long axis of the teeth. Activate with a firm labiolingual motion. In gingiva is injured, the area is avoided. The area should be cleansed with warm water to remove all remnants of the paste. Then the rubber cups. Rubber cups allow the rubber shell with or without wet configuration in the hollow interior. The hand piece, prophylactic angle and the rubber cup must be sterilized after each patient use and disposable plastic prophylaxis angle may be used. Good polishing paste containing fluoride can be used. The polishing paste are available in fine, medium, coarse and grit. Let's have a quick look at the video, how to use the rubber cups in patients. So when it comes to polishing, the cord obviously can get really bulky and heavy on your wrist right here. So the cordless is super nice because then I can move my wrist. It's a lot lighter and definitely more comfortable. Tip number two, when you polish, make sure you polish slow. It's nice when there's a foot pedal because I can barely push on the foot pedal and let it go super slow. I don't want foot pedal to the ground. This is way too fast and it's going to cause a lot of friction and heat and it ends up hurting the patient's teeth, especially if you have a pedo patient. So you want to go as slow as possible. Tip number three, when you fill up the paste, put a little pressure to soften up this paste and then make sure your cup is completely full. You don't want just a little bit, you want it completely full and that'll help you be able to use it for a couple teeth. Tip number four, make sure when you polish, you're gonna adapt to the tooth like this. So instead of just going through and just polishing like this and kind of going crazy, what you wanna do is you wanna make sure you put a little pressure right at the gum line so it flares a bit put activate and then pull down and then push at the gum line push down a little bit and pull down and this will help you adapt to the tooth really get that stain off and get that biofilm off that gets caught subgingively and interproximally so the nice thing with the cordless hand piece is i can really adapt well sometimes with the cord it fights you i hope you have a very informative video how to use the rubber cups in the patient now, the ultrasonic and stonic instruments may be used to remove plaque, scaling and curating and removal of the strain. Vibration of the sonic tip range from 2000 to 6000 cycles per second. The types of two ultrasonic units are magnetostrictive and piezoelectric. In magnetostrictive units, the pattern of vibration tip is elliptical, which means all sides of the tip are active and will work when adapted to the tooth. In the piezoelectric unit, the pattern of vibration of the tip is linear or back or froth, meaning two sides of the tip are more active. Now, moving on to the surgical instrument, it is classified as excisional incisional instruments, periosteal elevators, surgical curates and sickle, surgical styles, and uh, surgical scissors. Excisional instrument instruments, periodontal knives and crickland knife. Next comes the organs interdental knives. The excisional and incisional instruments, the periodontal knives, the crickland knife, they are used for the gingivectomy procedure, double-ended or a single-ended instrument. It is a kidney-shaped knife, entire periphery is a cutting edge. Orban's knife, they are used in the interdental areas, it is single or double-ended. It is a spear-shaped knife, the cutting edge on both sides of the blade. The Orban's knife are Orban's 1 and 2, Merifield knife is 1 and 4, they are used for interdental areas. Spear-shaped knives have the cutting edge on both sides of the blade. Next comes the Goldman Fox knife. It is a interdental used for interdental tissue removal. It is spear in shape. The offset blade used to, in the posterior areas. Moving on to the surgical blades. Blade 11 for ideal for the stab incision. Need when lancing an abscess. Blade 12 pointed crescent and shaped blade which is used for sulcular incision. 
Blade 12D, it's a big shaped blade, cutting edge on both sides. It allows the operator to engage the narrow restricted areas with pushing and pulling cutting motion. Blade 15, they are used for thinning flaps, which is used as an internal bevel insertion. 15C is a narrow version of 15 blade, making the initial scalloping type insertion. They are used as a short and precise insertion. Surgical curates and sickles, they are mainly used for the removal of granulation tissue, fibrous interdental tissue, and denitious subgingival deposits. Next comes the heavy curates, which is Pritchard curates and Critland curates. They have a wider blade than those that are used for the conventional scaling and root painting. Next comes the heavy sickles, which is a ball scaler, V2 and V3. They finishes the gingival deposits. Periostal elevators, they are used to reflect and move the flap after insertion has been made for flap surgery. The other elevators are Buser's periostal elevator, Pritchard's periostal elevators and Goldman Frog's periostal elevator. Surgical chisel, it is mainly used for cutting and removing bone, recontouring the alveolar bone crest, autogenous grafting. The Osmond chisel used uh, to use, usual for the reshaping of the bone and to reflect fat or remove the secondary palatal flap with 5mm working end. Surgical file and that is basically of two types, Sugarman periodontal file and Schluger periodontal file. Sugarman periodontal file, they use interproximally. The file surface on both sides allow for push or pull application. It is for the mesial and distal part. Schulger periodontal file used interproximally. They are also used for push and pull application. Moving on to the tissue forceps. The tissue forceps are used in a surgical procedure for grasping tissue during periodontal surgery. Hemostatic forceps for clamping blood vessel, removal of the small root tips and grasping loose objects. Scissors, they are used to remove the tag of the tissue during gingivectomy. They are also used to trim the margin of the flap. Example is Goldman Fox scissor. To enlarge insertion in periodontal abscess and to remove the muscle attachment in mucogingival surgery. Needle holder. Microsurgical needle holder are used to grasp and guide the needle when suturing. They are used to suture the flap in desired position after surgical procedure is completed. The needle holder is basically of two types, conventional and castrovisio. To summarize, the material used are periodontal probes, explorers, scalers, curates, universal curates and gacy curates, area specific curates, extended shank curates, curvets, lanner hands and furcation curates, periodontal files, hose scalers, dental endoscope, chisel scaler, yak powder polishing, dental tape, rubber cups, sonic and ultrasonic instruments, surgical instruments, in that you have periostal elevators, surgical blades, surgical chisel, surgical files, tissue forceps, hemostat, scissors and needle holder. I hope you find this video very useful and informative. If you have any question, you can reach out to me. Thank you.